I've always been an artist, I think, in my heart. But I started out studying biology as an undergraduate and discovered that you could study art in school. I'm interested in the visual language of coloring books. It's a way to combine abstraction and figuration and drawing and painting. And also it's our first experience as visual creators. Everyone sort of has used a coloring book or done some scribbling in a coloring book. And so it's something we all sort of understand. This is really a treat to be able to, to make this work um, for the Watching Hands exhibit. I think it's really exciting to have an art gallery in a place that I think so much of, about as a science institution. So this is the first panel. And um, this is this character that I um, use occasionally, and I've given him the name Donkey Boy. And he sees um, this thing in the water, and it's, he's really attracted to it, and he goes and he wants to, he touches it. And as he makes his way more through the forest, his hands become these claws. And he sees these sort of new characters, these sort of bearded guys, and they end up helping him. They take him first to um, this ringleader who can't really help him, but he knows a guy who can help him who's the magician. And then the magician uh, will wash his hands and they'll be like new. I'm happy that the work is able to have a deeper meaning than just my own sort of fantasy world and my own narrative that I've been able to sort of use my narrative process to inform people about an important health issue. I hope that people will think of me as sort of this person who can lead them through an imaginary world but that also they can sort of see that there are real world implications and people will think of me as a storyteller as well as an artist.